Hello all. Welcome to part 61 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to list the different listeners that are available in TestNG library. So let's get started. As explained in the previous session, there are different listeners available in TestNG library. And technically speaking, these listeners are nothing but the predefined interfaces in TestNG library. There are different predefined interfaces in TestNG library consisting of many uh, kind of uh, methods, okay, which can be overridden from the predefined interfaces into our classes so that we can take action according to the events triggered by the TestNG and TestNG methods using this listener methods, okay? So technically speaking, this is what, guys, I explained in the previous session, if you have understood, okay? but as I have to clearly explain again, there are different different listeners available in TestNG. That is, listeners are nothing but the predefined interfaces which belong to the TestNG library, guys. So there are above 20 guys, okay? 20 and above TestNG listeners are available, okay? TestNG predefined interfaces are available, which we call them as interfaces. But I am going to list down the most important ones. And in that, what we generally use in real time as part of Selenium automation or any other test automation, what is the main listener that we use that I'm going to cover in this session, okay? So guys, the main important listener that we have, that everyone uses in their uh, Selenium automation code or any frameworks, okay, which are built on Selenium automation or API automation, rest assured, or uh, the mobile automation, APM or whatever it is, most of the people use this uh, interface, predefined interface, which we call as listener, is known as iTest listener, okay? So this is a commonly used one in the projects and frameworks for different types of automation in the testing industry. Okay, this iTest listener comes with a lot of methods which are uh, which are only declared, but they doesn't have any body, guys. Okay, these methods are only declared, but they doesn't have any body. Who has to write the body? So we have to create a class and implement this uh, one of the listener iTest listener. Okay, interface. From TestNG library, we have to implement that. And then we have to override the methods of this iTest listener. And then we have to write the code, okay? On what we have to do are based on the events that are triggered by the TestNG and its test methods, okay? This is what is a simple terms I can say. And out of all the different listeners available in TestNG, out of all the different predefined interfaces, which we call them as listeners in TestNG, iTest listener is a commonly used and mainly used one. And other than that, we have 20 more listeners, guys. But here I am only uh, listing down the important ones, okay? Apart from the ITS listener, we have I annotation transformer as another important one. I invoke the method listener. They're not commonly used like ITS listener, but still important, guys, okay? Here and there, you will see some people using I annotation transformer also, or I invoke method listener, I suit listener, I reporter, I configurable, I execution listener, I hookable. Okay, I method interceptor, I configuration listener, and there are many other predefined interfaces in this test engine which we which we can call them as listeners. And these are the major ones, and I test listener is the most commonly used one. The next session, I am going to use the mostly commonly used uh, I test listener. Okay, I'll try to practically demonstrate if required. Okay, how to use this I test listener and how to override the methods of this. Okay, I test listener and all these things I'm going to. Uh, talk or explain and demonstrate practically in the next session. For now, there are different listeners available in TestNG. Apart from iTest listener, which is commonly used, we have other listeners like I annotation transformer, I invoke method listener. Okay, so you should have an idea of one or two or three guys at least. Okay, I reporter, I configure. These are very easy, right? Uh, I suit listener, I reporter, I configure, I test listener, I hookable. Okay, few things you can remember. It's not compulsory that you have to listen, uh, remember anything, everything, every everything. But I test listener compulsory, guys. Okay, because it is commonly used. I test listener. So hope guys you understood uh, the different uh, listeners that are available in TestNG library. The list of different listeners that are available in TestNG library in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another TestNG topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.